I am now packing, or my mom, because she's packing everything. Got my pants for tomorrow. We are going to Toronto to see Chris Perillo. Got my pajamas, socks, and shirt. And, uh, well, this is my mom and dad's room, but I can't because all my room is getting, I don't know, uh, redone, you'd say. But uh, all my stuff is here, and uh, we just have to finish packing up, and I have to wait until my dad comes home, and we can head out to Toronto and uh, see uh, Chris Perillo. Well, technically, we're going to go see Chris Perillo tomorrow. We're just going there to see uh, to my aunt's house tonight. And then sleep over there. And then in the morning, we're going to go see Chris Perillo at the CN Tower. And, uh, very excited to see him. Hmm? Yeah, no. Man, it smells like gas out here. I guess I want to fill it. Put my things in the side. If I can, I'm going to put you guys right in the car. Whew. Thanks in here. Like that? Oh yeah, we're in his car. Just about to head out right now. All right, we're now in the car. Well, obviously, starting our journey, our road trip to go to uh, Toronto. Dutton on route right now. John Mellicane's Cherry Bomb on 1023 Bomb FM. This is London. Wellington Road, exit. Whatever you said. Not really much. As I said before, all lights. A pit stop to also go to the washroom and to get something to eat for dinner. Yeah, just the usual. We're going to McDonald's for dinner. There's a lot of hills in Woodstock. Oh, yeah, and we're also in Woodstock. So, lots of hills. Went down a big steep one. Finally made it to our destination where we will be staying for the night in this past Toronto actually and uh, we'll be getting up tomorrow to go to downtown Toronto to the CN Tower to see Chris Perillo Toronto at my uh, Aunt Kathy's house over here before we go to sleep. Hopefully it's warm, it should be it's a hot day. Is it? Oh man, it's freezing out. Shut that door now. Yeah. Warm? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna stop flocking and go on in. I don't know if you could see it, but my all um, uh, both of my hands are all numb. Or I don't know what it's called, but I, I'm just gonna call it numb. But it has all those little wrinkles in it because I was in there for like a half an hour with my dad and my hands. She feels so dry. Look at all those cars. We're about to go see Chris Perillo and we're leaving my aunt's house because uh, we slept over there the night and uh, it's snowing in Toronto where we are on Duclos Point. I don't know if you can see it as well, but. <coughs> it's all snow, thick snow, packing snow, right? Trail. Can't wait to go see Chris Perillo. We're also going to be going to the Apple Store uh, in Toronto at the Edmonton Mall, in the Edmonton Mall, uh, after we go see Chris Perillo. Might be going to go see the iPad Air, which is a bonus. To go to the Apple store. 
It's a lot better to go see Chris Burlo, I think. Because I watch him more and all that. Besides the Apple store. But I use the Apple things. Apple products, so. It's the CN Tower. Right there. That's where we're going. To the bottom, actually. Not all the way to the top. Maybe. We might. This is Toronto Outlook View. Look at the other top. It's the CN Tower, again. A closer view. Looks pretty nice. Wow, that's huge. There's the Rogers Center. Officially in Toronto. Um, not yet to the CN Tower, but I might add, just, we just stopped at the gas station again to, uh, you need to go to the washroom. A little personal stuff. But we have made it to Toronto. Well, we've been in Toronto. We've just been out of it. We've been outside Toronto. And uh, we need to turn on the King Street. We're probably going to park and then walk to the CN Tower, which won't be that hard and far. But um, can't wait to go. It starts at 11 and it's 10.10. Uh, so I think we have enough time to uh, spare. Oh, yes. You can see actually the actual tip of the CN Tower right now. I have my Buffer Festival attending car so I can get into Buffer Festival. I have this which goes around my neck. Um, I also have something else. You got this with it. It's a chocolate thing. And this little Buffer Festival uh, sheet shows you everything in it I guess. Who's attending and all that. Probably one of the bigger YouTube events uh, that happen on an annual basis and it's really cool finally make it out to Toronto. So I'm happy to be here. And uh, even, even though Charles Tripp is at the same time. Uh, the, you know, the interesting thing, uh, uh, though, about tech on YouTube, when I uh, when Corey asked if I would do it, and I said, well, what, what did you need covered? What did you want me to, to kind of talk about, or present, or interact, or whatever? Uh, he said tech, and I'm like, oh, really? Um, and I say that and I'm very careful about this because as much as, and, and this may very well come out in the video, uh, it's kind of like a, a screening of sorts, uh, the video that we're going to be playing back here in a couple minutes, I recorded um, just the other day. It will be uploaded to the YouTube channel on Monday. Um, it, and it's, it was shot in a, in a style that I, I think it seems to fit me well enough and it seems to fit what I'd like to do well enough. Um, shot live to tape, did it in the car with the vlog camera, um, and it's very long and rambly, much like I am. Um, so if you're not familiar with my style, it tends to be a bit different. Uh, most terrible tech I've ever reviewed. Uh, here's the thing. I tend not to, to talk about things that I can't stand. Like. Uh, and I, I don't I don't accept tech unless I know that it's something that I'm genuinely interested in uh, or am going to like. Um, because otherwise, what, I'm, I feel like I'm wasting my time. Unless I feel like, dude, do not buy this. This is the absolute worst thing. Uh, you know, I, I hate saying it, but the Surface RT was pretty bad. You know? I mean, it, I've never done a product reboxing before. And some people, you know, they blame me for the failures of Windows Vista. I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm an engineer who works at Microsoft. Uh, um, no, uh, I think the Service RT was probably about it. Okay. Never take me seriously. <laughs> Ever. She's new. She's, she's only been here I, like I'm, one, one I'm day. more new. Yeah. This is Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Yeah. Vincenzo Sims. Wow. Yeah, Chuck. hey, all right. I got you. It's Italian. Very right? Italian. Yeah. I love the name. I His mom's it. Italian, right? It's a good name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's very, reminds me of The Godfather for some reason. Vincenzo. Yeah. But it's, I don't think Vincenzo was a character in The Godfather. He's got a sister named Angelina, and she don't like that either. And he likes Vinny, and she likes Angie. And Vinny sounds weird. yeah, I like it. You're you're ready to. Vinny's like a thug kind of name. Yeah. Vinny, could you sign this? No, I can't. No, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. easy. You know, the hardest thing about signing is having a service. Did you have a good time this morning? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Fun. Interesting. Yep. Different. That's what I strive for every day of my life. Doesn't always happen. 
Yeah, we live like uh, three and a half hours south. Oh, okay. Kind of like uh, near Windsor. All right. Cross, I mean, see, I'm not that familiar from, with the You know where Detroit, Detroit is? is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone so, else just came up from Detroit, too. We're like 30 minutes from Detroit on the Canadian side, right? Okay, cool, cool. So, you know. You seem to have to worry about customs and all that stuff. No, just you did that. Yeah, at, I did. At the, they didn't, yeah, they didn't. It, it was easy. I mean, I've, I've come to Canada before, so, I mean, I know generally you know, what it's going to be like. And that kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, y'all are America, really, with Tim Hortons. That's, that's Canada in a nutshell. Because we have poutine now. Just so you know. We, we take it over. <laughs> we may do it better. I don't know. Poutine's not that great, though. I, you know, it, 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 I've had I had a really good one in Seattle. Like a really good one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't know how to get it. I'm not a judge of poutine or anything. Why would you be, right? I don't, I don't <laughs> eat it regularly enough, but it was outstanding. It was really good. Diana and I had that on our mini honey. One of our mini honey. Burger King sells it. Really? Here, anyway. Oh, I don't know about. I, I don't know. I, I, want, I just, I, just, I don't know. There's something about that. You know, when you're, when you're in all these, you, know, you go to different cities and they seem familiar. You know, just trying to find the local flavor. You know, it's very. It's what I really like to do. Eat the experience with food. You know, and I just like to eat. So. If that's not apparent in the vlogs, I like to eat. And so does Diana more than me. I think that'll get me in trouble. I'll probably. So you, are you vlogging? It's going up on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. We're gonna put it on are, YouTube. Aren't you gonna introduce me? So, like, this oh, is so. This is Chris. Hi, this is Brillo. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Vinny. I'm like, I didn't right. know you were. You know, I knew you were recording, but I didn't know this was going on YouTube. I would have worn a nicer shirt. <laughs> or, you know. So would we, all, right? Yeah, this is about as nice as it gets, though. Like tonight for the black tie affair, I'm not wearing. I'm wearing a, just a t-shirt with a jacket. I don't wear ties. How much is a camera like that? That's like, uh, four hundred dollars. Four hundred bucks. Four hundred bucks. But the nice thing is, is that it's. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. I mean, you can get you know super wide angle on the. Okay. The, so how like, far do you have to hold it from yourself? Not that far. Right here. Right yeah. Here? Yeah, I mean, wow. you can pull over right there. It's got a super wide angle. So and that's what you have in your car and everything all the time? Oh, yeah. No, this is, this is it. This well, is you like, have, like, little holders in your car for it? Not anymore. No? Nope. Not anymore. Uh, I hear Detroit in your accent. Do you? Yeah. Or Chicago. Detroit. Like, Midwest. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah? It's there. When you said car. Car? I you know, hear it in the A. You know, Canadians say about. Uh, yeah, I and, hear that out. Yeah, but that's more, isn't that more west? You know what an expressway is? Uh, freeway? Yeah. Okay. okay. They don't use that. I remember when I was in California, they, they didn't know what a... They said, oh, you're from out east, when they said expressways. Oh, well, yeah, I said, know, oh. local co uh, colloquialism. Sometimes I hear the accent. I'm attuned to it. But when a? you said car, that, it's a. like, that's Chicago. It's like, I hear Detroit, Chicago. We say A. A. A lot. I haven't heard a lot of that, though. I think you guys are cleaning that up now. I hear a lot of the English-French thing, but... Which I'm glad you're not following things up with French because I don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just push it like this. Cool, I got lots there. <laughs> One of those will turn out. Yeah. All right, well, we'll shake his hand and then let the carry the line on and stuff like that. And, all right. <laughs> I do get out of the house. <laughs> I'll shake your cool. hand to you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for meeting you. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. All right. Keep right. up the good work. Yes. So we just uh, finished uh, meeting up with Chris Perillo, and uh, it's all on tape, as you guys seen earlier. And um, I'm really happy I seen him. We're going to be heading to uh, the Apple Store in the Eaton Mall in Toronto. Still my money. I have three dollars anyways, but we're heading to, well, we're going home now since uh, we had a, two full days of Toronto, seeing Chris Perello, which was awesome. Uh, thanks to my dad, brought me, and uh, oh, that's, that's him. That's him. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing all our videos. I hate editing videos.